Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my 13 inch Apple MacBook Air. This is the latest 2010 model. Now there are two versions of this 13 inch MacBook Air. There's one with 128 gigabytes of flash storage, which is what I've got here. And that's gonna cost you a thousand and ninety nine pounds in the UK. There's also a higher capacity model with 256 gigabytes of flash storage. And that will cost you an additional 250 pounds with an asking price of £1,349. Well, I'm going to be showing you a series of videos with some add-on devices that will increase the storage capacity and save you some money. You might even find them a little bit more useful as well. So this is the SanDisk Ultra backup USB 2 flash drive and this is a 64 gigabyte version and one of these is going to cost you around about sort of 99 pounds so you could buy two of these to get 128 gigabytes for around about 200 pounds or maybe a bit cheaper if you shopped around or did a bit of bargaining with who you were buying from and then that would still be cheaper than buying the 256 gigabyte MacBook Air. Let's give you a closer look at this so it's a plastic construction so it is plasticky but very nice design it's got a backup button on the front here for if you were using it on a pc but we're testing it on a mac little pushy out usb connection and let's plug this in to the macbook air now obviously it's not as convenient as having the storage in here but it doesn't add on a lot of bulk it's only a small usb dongle and uh, it could prove more useful because you could store, for example, your iPhoto library on here uh, and have another one for maybe just movies and then just plug it in when you need it. Now, I'm going to run uh, Xbench on here. So you have to bear with me whilst I get this up and running. And I've already tested the internal uh, flash storage on the MacBook Air. And... I know the results of that already, so let's set this running on the SanDisk Ultra. Now I'm only going to concentrate on the sequential uh, write and read speeds. Now why this is running, I have pre-run this, so I have already got some uh, results from this running the first time round. Now the internal flash storage on here, using an uncached write of 4K blocks, came in at 133 megabytes per second. Now this 64 gigabyte uh, SanDisk Ultra scores 18.96, so quite a lot slower but still a respectable score. Now to put that into uh, perspective I will be showing you a graphic on the screen which shows what a normal serial ATA drive would score in comparison to the MacBook Air internal flash memory and this little 64 gigabyte flash drive. Now the highest performance that the internal flash storage achieved on the MacBook Air was 185 megabytes per second, which is absolutely phenomenal. Compare that to a serial ATA drive, which tops out at around about 120 megabytes per second. This still achieved 26.65 as the highest rated score. I think that's very respectable and it makes a device like this extremely useful. So is it worth buying this instead of the higher capacity MacBook Air? Well, I think so. If you buy two of these, as I said, it's still gonna save you 50 to 60 pounds on the overall cost. And it makes it very flexible as well because I would definitely use one of these for storing my iPhoto library on, maybe another one for my iTunes library and not commit all of that data to my MacBook Air. It makes it portable, you can transfer it between different machines and it's a very useful device. So this is the SanDisk Ultra, 64 gigabytes. Please keep an eye out on the Geek and Noise channel for more of this type of review. I've got a whole series of devices to test on the MacBook Air. And until next time, have a great day. This video is sponsored by mymemory.co.uk. For great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support, visit mymemory.co.uk.